Five seconds to go. Start. Namaskar. I am privileged that I have got an opportunity today to interact with the students of lakhs of ITIs of the country. Students from various institutions related to skill development, teachers, other dignitaries of the world of education, ladies and gentlemen. Today, a new history has been created in our country marching ahead in the 21st century. For the first time, the Koshal Dikshant Samaharo of more than 9 lakh students of ITIs has been organized. More than 40 lakh students are also connected with us through virtual medium. I wish you all for the Koshal Dikshant Samaharo and today is also a very auspicious occasion. Today is also the birth anniversary of Lord Vishwakarma. What a wonderful coincidence that the Koshal Dikshant Samaharo, which is your first step on the path of innovation with skills, is happening on the auspicious occasion of Vishwakarma Jayanti. I can confidently say that as pleasant as your beginning is, your journey to the future will also be more creative. Wishing you and all the countrymen a very happy Lord Vishwakarma Jayanti. Friends, Vishwakarma Jayanti is the festival of consecration of skill. An idol by a sculptor is not called the form of God as long as life is not infused into it. Today, it is a matter of pride for all of us that today your skills are being honored and recognized on the occasion of Vishwakarma Jayanti. Vishwakarma Jayanti in the true sense is the owner of the person who works hard it is the day of workers. In our country, the skill of the worker is seen as a part of God. He is seen in the form of Vishwakarma. That is, there is a part of God somewhere in the skill that you have. I believe this event is like an emotional tribute to Lord Vishwakarma. Call it Koshalanjali or Karmanjali, what can be a more wonderful day than the birth anniversary of Vishwakarma? Friends, in the last eight years, the country has launched many new schemes with the inspiration of Lord Vishwakarma. There is an effort to revive our tradition of Shramev Jayate. Today, the country is once again honoring skills by giving equal emphasis on skill development. To make this century the century of India, it is very important that the youth of India should be equally proficient in education as well as skill. Keeping this in mind, our government has given top priority to skill development of youth and creation of new institutions. The first ITI in our country was established in 1950. In the following seven decades, about 10,000 ITIs were formed. In the eight years of our government, about 5,000 new ITIs have been established in the country. More than 4 lakh new seats have also been added in ITIs in the last eight years. Apart from this, National Skill Training Institutes, Indian Institutes of Skills and thousands of skill development centers have also been opened across the country. The government is also going to open more than 5000 skill hubs to promote skill development at the school level. 
in the new national education policy experience based learning is also being promoted and skill courses are being introduced in schools in the country the government has taken another decision for all the students of iti's which is benefiting all of you students joining iti after passing 10th standard are also getting 12th pass certificates easily through national open school this will help you in further studies another important decision for you has been taken a few months back there is a special provision for the recruitment of youth in the army who have taken technical training from iti's that is now the youth who graduate from iti's will get a chance in the army as well friends industrial training institutes also have a big role to play in india's success in this era of fourth industrial revolution that is industry 4.0 the nature of job is also changing with time and therefore the government has taken special care so that the students studying in our iti's should also have easy access to every modern course today many courses related to coding artificial intelligence robotics 3d printing drone technology telemedicine etc have been launched in iti's you can also see how india is taking the lead in the field of renewable energy solar power and electric vehicles with the introduction of such courses in many of our iti's it will be easier for you to get employment opportunities friends today with the expansion of technology in the country job opportunities too are increasing for example when the country is opening lakhs of common service centers by providing optical fiber to every village more and more opportunities are being created in the villages for the students who have passed out from iti's whether it is repair of mobile phones in villages new technology related to agriculture spraying of fertilizer or pesticides with drones many new types of jobs are being created in the rural economy stop